This fun fact was inspired by one of my pupils showing me this picture of a parasite inside a fish and being intrigued I decided to investigate. This is a parasitic isopod which belongs to the genus Cymothea. There are many different species and this particular species is thought not to have been photographed before. Not all species are parasitic but obviously this one is. The fish parasite is widely distributed around the world and occurs in many different habitats but mostly in shallow waters in tropical or subtropical areas. They are also found in fresh water in Africa and Asia. The juveniles are all male and will turn into females as adults if there is no other female around. Juveniles are not too fussy as to who their host is. They will attach themselves temporarily to the skin of any fish and produce anticoagulants to suck their blood. They will detach from this first host in a bid to find the correct species of fish for their adult development. Once found, they attach permanently. Many adults also attach at specific locations on a fish. Depending on the species, they will burrow into muscle or attach on the skin, the fins, the gills or the mouth. This particular species only uses the carpenter fish as their host. The male swims through the fish's gills and attaches itself to the tongue. Here it severs the blood vessels of the tongue and feeds off its blood, increasing in size and turning into a female. The fish's tongue eventually dies and the parasite attaches to the stub of the tongue and the floor of the fish's mouth. Here it feeds on the fish's blood and mucus. Up to 90% of the fish's tongue has been reported missing and the parasite serves as a replacement tongue. If another parasite swims through the gills, it will remain there as a male. Having a parasite can obviously have devastating effects on a host fish. Depending on where the parasite attaches, damage is done to the gills, skin, teeth and fins. The fish can have heart problems, reduced respiratory metabolism and growth, and even death can occur. Fish that have had their tongues replaced seem to fare pretty well unless they also have some of the male parasites attached to their gills. These fish were found to be malnourished. Luckily for us, being so species and site specific, they are not interested in the human tongue. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.